Hey, I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through. We're talking about faith, faith, faith all week long. What is faith, right? Is, is it just, you know, that, that I'm a, a positive person and I have faith, uh, right? I, 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 maybe I'm thinking like I want to give up and maybe you're feeling that like today and, and someone will say, well, you got to have just to have faith. But, but what we need to hear is faith in what? Because if I feel like giving up, you know, someone tell me, have faith in yourself. I might be like, well, I, I failed and I can't do it. And, and, and this is the message today that, that what, what matters when we talk about faith is what we have faith in, who we are trusting in or what we are trusting in, not ourselves, but in God and what he has done for us. Jesus said this in, in Mark chapter 11, now, just, just to set up the context of this, this is uh, after um, Jesus has gone into Jerusalem. It's right before he uh, is arrested and dies uh, for us, uh, before that sacrifice, before the trial and all of those things. And, uh, and they had passed by a, a, a fig tree and Jesus, and it, and it wasn't bearing fruit. And so Jesus curses it. Now, he doesn't just like, he's not just showing off. He's not saying like, you know, um, being mean or whatever. He wanted to prove a point, tell a story, and, or, or, or teach a lesson, really. He wanted them to understand something, and that was his power to do things, and really his expectation for them to bear fruit. Uh, he's like, look, you exist, and, and you're, my, you're my children, and, and I've made you my own. I've, I've chosen you, I've, I, right, for us. He's bled for us, died for us, rose for us, so that we would live a certain way that we would show love to the world, that we would uh, show the world the hope that we have, that we would tell them about who Jesus is and, and bear fruit, right? Have love, joy, peace, patience, understanding. Live that way. And so we look at Mark 11, 22. We're going to take a couple verses today. So, so they passed the, the, the tree, withered away to its roots. And, and Peter remembered and, and he said to him, look, hey, there's the trees that you cursed. Look, it's withered. Like they're, I, it's almost like they're kind of surprised. Like you, you, you commanded it and it happened. Like, whoa. And Jesus said, I ha he says, have faith in God. Truly I say to you, whoever says to the mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and, and, and doesn't doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, Believe you have received it, and it will be yours. Now, this does not mean at all that no matter what you want, right? A bigger house, uh, you want, uh, you know, all this luxury and all this money, and uh, right? And there's there's folks in, that have kind of gone there with this passage. Uh, but what he's saying is, he's saying, look, know that I can do all of this. That's simply what he's saying. Have faith in me. Jesus says in John 14, remember he talks about in my father's house are many rooms. Uh, it, it, if, it, if it wasn't true, I wouldn't have told you. But I'm telling you, I'm going to prepare a place. I'm going to come back and take you to be with me. Now, before he says all this, he says, trust in God, trust also in me. I can do that. I'm going to a cross to die for you. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to totally destroy sin. I'm going to defeat it. it it's, it's done. And, and, and you are now going to be forgiven. This gift is going to be bestowed on you. You're going to have the Holy Spirit. You're going you're gonna to be able to live forever, all because of what God has done. Trust in Him because you've got stuff going on in your life. You've got situations you can't see the other side of and you feel like it's giving up. You feel like, man, this is like overwhelming. He's like, just know that I've got you. Know that I'm there with you. I'm there to lead you and guide you and nothing will, 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 will steal Him from, our, from His hands, from God's hands that hold us. Right when we're weary, he says, we find rest in him. So he says, trust in me. And he uses this dramatic thing. Like if you were to say to a mountain to go and, and go into the sea, if you believe that can happen, if you, and, and I think what he's saying is, believe that God could do it because you can't do it. But if, but if God needed that to happen, it would happen. If, if you believe that God could make it happen, it could 
happen because God can do anything. And as we know Him, and the more we know Him, we know what He wants for us, what He wants from our, you know, to happen in our lives. And so that directs what we ask for. And He's saying, just be confident. I love you. I'm going I'm to give you what you need. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you even into eternity. Right? That's how deep it is, man. That's how far He goes to, to the furthest that we could even imagine. Nothing will separate us from His love. Man. Just take that into your heart, into your life every day. In Jesus' name, man, what a great, great teaching. Hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody. We'll talk to you next time.